Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for it's 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 20th of August. So we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SGFS and Isham Ensembles. Maybe we'll try in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. So that gets us into early September. I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first video release today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. And we've also released the detailed European outlook for the next week, 10 days as well. So check out those two vids if you'd like to see that. Like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, now let's crack on then. Now we're going to start off with the uh, CT, the Central England temperature, is now sitting at 15.4, which is 0.4 of a degree above the 60, or below, I should say, the 61 to 90, 90 average, and that is provisional to yesterday, to the 9th of uh, August. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We'll Leeds today, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Leeds. We're starting off with above average temperatures at the moment. We're going to find the upper air temperatures returning closer to average in the next day or so. So through the weekend and into next week, the upper air temperatures hovering very close to average now i have got a warm-up appearing through the third week towards the last week of august just here uh you see how the white line which is on summer means lifts up above the red line so it's certainly going warmer than average and we have got some very very warm hot outlier on some members up here as well look at all of these going up to 18 Celsius at 850 HPA, and one or two go above that, even up to 20 Celsius at 850 HPA. So that will be the hottest weather of the summer so far, if that came off. It certainly looks like there's good agreement for a warm-up to take place through the second half of August, through the third week of the month. How far we go with that, how hot it gets remains to be seen but definite indications of a of a warm up there may be signs of a bit of a cool down as we get towards months ever of course that is a long way off it's like a couple of weeks away and is therefore very unreliable so essentially um warm to start then near normal for about a week and then possibly turning hot precipitation anomaly so it could be probably dry weather over the next couple of days in Leeds, but it will turn more unsettled over the weekend and into the beginning of next week. And then just here, quite a few precipitation spikes during this hot period, telling us, or potential hot period, telling us that not only might it be hot, it might also turn thundery as well. But of course, this is all like a week, 10 days away, and so is therefore subject to change because it is in the unreliable time frame. Temperature anomalies shall be temp to the 18th of August, coming out warmer than average. Precipitation anomalies shall be temp to the 18th of August, coming out drier than normal or average to uh, drier than average. Latest wind from that from Earth, no school dark net shows we've got a big low in the Atlantic. Stay ahead of that with drawing up wind from a warm southerly direction, but there's a weather system just here, and that will be moving in this direction over the uh, next 24 hours or so, bringing fresher air back in from off the Atlantic. Right, so let's go through chart data then. Latest UK Met Euro run for midnight on Sunday has low pressure to the north and west of Scotland. That would bring in a showery wind from the west and off the Atlantic. A trough sitting over the country the early part of next week will keep weather rather cool and showery. Then high pressure through the middle and second half next week begins to build and take over. That gets us to midnight on Thursday, 17th of August, where we've got this ridge starting to take over. That is the ridge that could start to pull up some appreciable levels of heat from itself as we go into the weekend of the 19th and the 20th of August. Icon, again, with that area of low pressure sitting over and to the north of the western country on Sunday, bringing in those showery westerly winds. And we look rather cool and showery through the early part of next week with that trough of low. It struggles to build a high pressure as much as the UK may. It does start getting this ridge going in the Norwegian Sea. 
by the 17th of August. But even then, we're still looking a little bit on the showery side there, I have to say. But he's probably changing towards higher pressure by the end of next week. The GFS midnight run, again, that area of low pressure to the northwest Scotland being showery westerly winds in across the country. Early part of next week, looking rather showery too. And then the second half of next week sees this transition. Too much higher pressure sitting over and to the north of the country. And that starts to drag in the wind from an east south east direction. So hotter air begins to push northwards as we go into the weekend of Saturday the uh, 19th and Sunday 20th of August. Look at the upper air temperatures. Very hot air sitting just to our south with plus 20 Celsius isotherm there. And those east south east continue into uh, day 10, Sunday the 20th of August again. Looking hot uh, with the upper air temperatures, especially for England and Wales. We're not far away well, plus 20 cell size went just over the other side of the channel. That could deliver the hottest days of the summer that we have had up to this point. Those hot southerly south pieces continue to Monday the 21st of August as well. Though the upper air temperature just ease back slightly, but still looking very warm and or hot. And uh, really high pressure stays dominant right way to the end of the GFS midnight run. Gets us to Saturday the 26th, 26th of August. Just signs then that lower pressure started to come back in from off the Atlantic. But we still have a ridge from the uh, Azores. Then the upper air temperatures are still looking quite warm, though not as hot as they are for the third week of um, August. This is the temperature forecast based on that uh, midnight run of the GFS. So starting on Wednesday, 16th of August, um, about average temperatures then, 15 to 23, maybe you normally add a degree or so on with these, especially in the more extended time frames. Uh, this is Thursday, 17th, again, sort of um, upper teens, low to mid 20s Celsius. Begins to get a bit warmer by Friday, the 18th, especially in the south, into the mid 20s Celsius. Then, and then Saturday, the 19th, see those uh, hotter temperatures begin to push northward. So we're close to 30 degrees then in the south. Widespread temperatures in the mid-20s Celsius. It gets hotter, though, by Sunday, the 20th of August. We've got widespread temperatures upper 20s to possibly low 30s there for England and Wales. Hotter still on Monday, the 21st of August. Widely up to 30, 31 um, in the southeast corner. Again, probably add a degree or two onto that. Also, um, that's Tuesday 22nd of August again, 30, 31, 32, probably c could increase that, 33 or 34. So you get the idea, this is quite a few days of, of really hot weather there that the GFS midnight run is going for. It is all like a week away or more, so obviously that does give an, uh, a significant element of uncertainty. But we may be in for some, uh, uh, let's say, we may be in for a heat wave um, as we go into the third week of uh, August. But we've got to wait a bit longer, I think, before we can start saying for definite that that's going to come up. GFS 6 said, again, looking very similar for Sunday with low pressure to the northwest west and bringing in most showery westy winds. We keep that trough closer because it should be early part of next week for high pressure bed starts to take over the second half of next week. So again, going in the same direction, trending in the same way. Into the weekend of Saturday the 19th, so 20th of August, high pressure sitting to our east, dragging in those very warm or hot southerly or southeasterly winds from off the hot continent. Up there, temperatures looking hot there by Sunday the 20th of August, widespread. Uh, plus 15 cells ice firm or more upper air temperatures across England where plus 20 cells ice firm is just into the northern part of France and not that far away from us at all. Beyond that, well, the high pressure is maintained. Wind goes a little bit more easterly, and so that starts to drag in something a little bit less hot from the east, but even so, very warm with that area of high pressure. Um, you know, proper hot weather with that, I think. Temperatures upper 20s, low 30s Celsius um, for several days. And, and the high pressure is maintained, actually, for several days. So it isn't just like a day or two, not like we've got at the moment, where we're just having a day or two of warmer weather. And then with that, something cooler. This is several days, maybe a week, of uh, significantly above average temperatures. No doubt this would be the hottest week 
of uh, of, of the summer, this third week of August, if it comes off. And of course, that is uh, the big unknown at the moment. That's how you end up with the GFS six. Um, Again, high pressure is still in control, even then, but the upper air temperatures are lowering a little bit. That's again towards the end of August. Remember, the further on we go, um, towards the end of August and then on in September, the harder it will be to maintain um, real heat for, for for several days. We can still get it very hot in September. It's only 2016 that we got up to 34 degrees in September. So we can still get it very hot uh, well into September. But it becomes harder to maintain that, you know. So um, you would expect by the time we get into the final week of August that the upper air temperatures probably start to lower a little bit. If you're enjoying the video, a bit of a turn up of a book, this one, isn't it? If you're enjoying the video, please think you uh, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz Weathers. We thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. We need to put on 55, 55 uh, subscribers to get to 16.7K. So if you could give us a sub, tell your friends and family to subscribe. It will be amazing. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. GM, again, with low pressure in the ascendancy for Sunday and into the early part of next week, keeping this area of low pressure close to the country with showers and or longer spells of rain. However, GM then eases the low pressure away through the middle to second half next week. High pressure then strengthens in its wake. And as we go into the weekend of the 19th and 20th of August, very much seen from the same hinge sheet as GFS, with high pressure dominating to our north and east, low pressure out in the Atlantic, and drawing up those very warm or hot southerly winds with plus 15 Celsius ice burn widely across England and Wales. And then the ouch at her. And then the ECMWF once more looking rather showering on Sunday and into the early part of next week. But then the low pressure, the trough lifts out for the second half next week. Heights rise to our north and east and in comes these very warm and or hot southerly, southeasterly winds. But it takes a little bit longer to push heat through with the ECM. That's day 10, um, where we are it is a little bit thundery there, actually. We have got the hot air through the country, though. Actually, plus 20 cells iceberg is knocking on the door of South East England. But that looks a little bit flimsier with the ridge. It does look as though there might be a thundery push developing from the uh, southwest there at day 10. So that will perhaps break things down uh, a little bit quicker than, say, the, the GFS output, which wants to keep that high pressure and hot weather going for several days. This is a precipitation forecast based on the East Chevron. Yeah, Welcome to Metro.com. Could be some heavy showers, maybe a bit of thunder in the north tonight, actually. Uh, and then we're into those showery conditions uh, yeah, over the weekend and into the start of next week as well. That looks quite wet for England and Wales when we get to the beginning of uh, next week. Further showering conditions after that. Then drying out through the second half of next week as that ridge uh, builds over and to the east of the country. Just maybe the hint of a bit of thunder in the west by day 10. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10. Gets 20th of August. Let's change the colour. 19 members of the ECM Ensembles with high pressure sitting to our north and east. Low pressure is out to the west. That's mostly dry and will be very warm as well. Bring that wind from the south or from the southeast out low. Might be a threat because of a fungi breakdown. 12 again with high pressure dominating sitting just to the north of the country. That's going to be bringing the wind from a Southeast direction, 11 with high pressure to our east. Low pressure is out to the west. Again, that might be turning a little bit more thundery from the southwest. And 9 with high pressure once more to the east. And low pressure is out to the west. They're all bringing up wind from the south. And so they would all be bringing up quite hot air there by day 10, the 20th of August. In two weeks' time. These are the options that we've got. Gets 25th of August into the last week of the month. 21 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure drifting samples. Maybe a hint of a bit of lower pressure up to the north. That would be reverting back to more of a westerly flow. Um, not overly unsettled. Well, like the south anyway. Could be a little bit in the door. But would be fresher, I think, with the air coming in for off. And see, 18 with high pressure over top of the country. That's mostly dry. Probably a bit cooler. Fresh with that, winds coming in from the northwest, and 12 with uh, high pressure to the southwest, and also maintained to the northeast, probably some sort of lower pressure 
coming through here. So uh, two weeks out, they, most of the options are looking a little bit, um, you know, a little bit cooler. But still with anti-cyclonic influences, especially, of course, the uh, middle A team that we have in that box just there. CFSB2, finally, these are 500 millibar height and knowledge broken down into week periods. The first week period takes from 10th, 16th of August. This next week, we'll have high pressure both to our south, east, north, as well with low pressure out in the Atlantic. So we'll be very warm. We'll be drawing up wind in the southerly direction. But of course, the trough of low pressure could bring showery conditions, will bring showery conditions over the weekend to start next week. Week two, it's the 17th to the 23rd of August. High pressure strengthens to our north and east. Then low pressure uh, drifts out into the Atlantic. That looks very warm, potentially hot, with winds coming in from a southerly, southeasterly direction. Week three, <laughs> it's going to be the 24th to 30th of August, high pressure, just slipping a little bit further east, was there, some lower pressure in the Atlantic. And then week four, which is the 31st of August, 6th of September, reverts to more of a Atlantic flow with lower pressure coming back towards Iceland and in the North Atlantic, high pressure drifting south with some winds going into westerly direction. So that could be a little bit of an unsettled start. September actually may be a little bit surprisingly, especially so um, further north. But of course, that is four weeks away. It's a long way off and uh, it's unreliable. So we just have to wait and see about that. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gav's Web We thank you so much everybody for uh, doing that for us. As I say, we only need to put on 55 subscribers to get to 16.7 um, game. So our next 100. So uh, please give us a sub to your friends and family to subscribe. And thank you so much everyone for uh, doing that. Thank you so much. So, yeah, a bit of a turn up for the box. This one after the long run of cool, wet weather that we have through uh, July to the beginning of this month. It does look as though things are on the change. Today could well be a little bit of a teaser for maybe a more prolonged and intense spell of hotter weather coming up through the third week of August. We will keep you posted on all of the developments about this potential for hotter weather in the third week of August and uh, you know just keep checking back to the channel for more. Remembering our summer forecast we went for uh, a mostly dry and quite warm June. We said July could well be the most unsettled up of the summer and then wash out potentially for summer to come back in August. So I reckon if we pull off this hotter weather through the third week of August it will make the gas weather summer forecast maybe a nine Maybe a 9 out of 10. I don't know. And it was barely more than a guess as well, that. So um, I'm very, very pleased to have some of the forecast is going. But we've got to wait and see whether we do pull off this uh, hotter, drier weather through the uh, third week of the month or not. Right, well, that's it for your videos for today. Um, tomorrow, we're going to have 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We'll have Jeremy Friday, and there'll be a 10 to 14 day as well. So please keep checking back to the channel for all of the content and updates. But for this one, that's all for now. Enjoy the rest of this gloriously uh, bright and sunny uh, Thursday. And uh, for this one, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. See you tomorrow.